this is your man, Jay Lee, from your back rocking with the culture cure. I have like the craziest people in the world in this room. <laughs> I have some water. How y'all doing? Y'all all right? I'm great. Are you, are you turned down, Serena? What? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you. That's perfect. She said never that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Everyone pray for me. Please pray for me. However, you gonna need it. Yeah, I got Ren and Stinky on the show. So, um, the disrespect. Who's Ren? You know what? Who's Ren? Say fuck you now. Wow. Rude. Yeah. So, uh, shouts out to um, Steph over here, uh, jet setting. We appreciate you uh, not being here with us and uh, <laughs> leaving us while you're Jeff had enjoying us the extra world. confused. Hey, yeah, I, I, I he, Jeff had us waiting on Tiffany, actually, uh, sitting here before the I show did. started. I did. She's out of the country. She is. I mean, I texted her, she said, I'm here. And, <laughs> and Jeff said, she's here. So, I, we're, we're, we're so we there. proceeded to wait for However, five more minutes. Whatever. I mean, uh, we're on time. Mm -hmm. um, how was y'all week? Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lots of work. But now I'm getting ready to go to Chicago tomorrow. So I'm like excited. Trip this year? No, it's not. But I'm very excited to see some of my sorority sisters and friends as we celebrate a bachelorette weekend as well as the Chicago Classic, Hampton versus Howard, Joe Hampton. So very excited about that. Gotta go thousand, home and pack. A lot of thousand pounds. Absolutely in not. <laughs> Oh, she lying. <laughs> right. I am retired. So. <laughs> That's not. Why? <laughs> yeah, what's up with you? Um, How's life? Life is pretty good. Um, this week, it, it, it's been cool. It's just you know another week. Lackluster. Because like last week it was like <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for it to be over. Are you ready for this week to be over too? Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Right. Nothing, nothing exciting is like really happening. Right now. So, you know. What, what do you consider exciting? Like, work's not exciting anymore. Actually, work is getting more um, complicated for me, which is actually exciting. Like, you know, I'm actually being challenged. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I, is this temporary? Is this like a project? It's a project. Oh, okay. Yeah. So a really, really big project that we've been like working on all year. So now it's like my time to like show up and show really, up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. So, and that's exactly what it is. So I'm excited about that, but it is um, time for the weekend. And what are you doing this weekend? Um, I have a gender reveal to attend on Saturday, oh. and um, probably go and have a couple of drinks with friends and things. I'm not gonna be here. Who you have a friend? I have other friends. Oh, excuse me. Do, you didn't know. Who? <laughs> That's your friend. Me like a man. That's your friend. You try it anyway. She was hot. Like, who you going out with? <laughs> I need to know. Jeff, how was your week? Uh, straight. You know, still in training with a new job. Mm -hmm. You know, that's uh, coming along. You know. Do you like the new job? It's an old job. You were doing the same thing? Yeah, they threw the bag at me, so I had to go. Oh. To see what I'm talking about. <laughs> but you're coming out of the though, yeah. aren't you? You're coming out yeah, of the Yeah, I, I hit the floor on Monday, so we're going to see what this is about. <laughs> I wish you luck. <laughs> you hit the floor on Monday? Yeah, I do. Coming to the stage. <laughs> What's your name? Care of, my, care of my thunder. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I like a thunder. Oh, uh, <laughs> Week. <laughs> Just because you box baby. <laughs> Jeff, why don't you ask the question? So what's the audience immunity to that? Um, being his egg on the show before. So let's say you and your husband and or wife go, you know, as... And or wife. There's male and females in the room. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to talk to you. Too, right? <laughs> so, um... <laughs> you would Hello? Go so <laughs> let's say you all go to do that. What's it? 20, 23 and me. 23 and me. Y'all going to do that. Just like that's something to do. 
to see, you know, what your heritage is, what your background is. And then it comes out within this DNA test, DNA test that you all are related. What do you do? <laughs> and I'll well, pose this to the IG listeners too. I, you chime in? I have follow up questions. <laughs> Me too. What's so, questions? so my first question is well, I, I haven't done 23 me. I've done Ancestry, but um, how far removed is this relation? See, at this point, now we're speculating, we're adding things. Okay. This is just a general you find out question. You all are related. We don't know how. We don't know if you're the first, second, third, um, fifth brother. Your brother. I'm sick. <laughs> I am sick. I, is, is the it, question initially when you asked me, I felt a little nauseous. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> so I, I, I immediately was like, oh my God, like my stomach dropped. That would be absolutely devastating and disgusting. And, uh, I mean, realistic, like, yes, realistically speaking, my follow up question would be, how closely related are we? But right. the initial thought was like, ugh, like, oh my God, I, I can't. <laughs> I, mine wasn't, uh, mine was just like, damn. Like, <laughs> my heart would sink a little bit, but I'm that type of person, like, I need answers immediately. So I would, we, we need to find out how close we are. Mm -hmm. Like, it, what's the chances of that happening? It probably wouldn't. I, like, I mean, it has no, happened. No, it, I, I'm not going to say Daddy it's a, a it's, friend I'm not going to say oh. it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a large or small opera, because let's be honest, like, Pop would be a Roller Stone, and he was a Roller Stone. Like it was a thing back in certain times to have yeah. family over here. And if my daddy was still living when, there, I, when I found that out, family over there, cussed out. You know, <laughs> and, and 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 a couple of mamas then let such and such raise this kid, and now this kid was raised as the cuds. You know what I'm saying? Man, it's a lot of situations. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. So you you will vomit first. Yes. Okay. One hundred percent. I got a twist to this question, right? So if it was a cousin, like a <laughs> shut up, like a third cousin, and no, ain't that that big of a deal? But like, let's say you find out it's your, your uh, let's just say you find out it's your brother, mm -hmm. or you find out it's your sister. Now what you gonna do? Throw up again. <laughs> <laughs> and then we gotta end this. We have to. I mean, there's like no way. What about kids? <laughs> you didn't know. The, the fact know that the right. kids are okay genetically okay. is a, is a blessing in the surprise. <laughs> that's step one. And we still do. <laughs> like, you gonna, really? We, we you can't be, know? we can't be married. We're now brother and sister and we're, you know, like. You we, are married. You're you already married. married. We can't be you legally married have... anymore. We are raising these children. But really? we, we're not romantically involved. No. You can know that and still be smashing. He just told you down last night, and now I'm growing up for a yeah. third time, and now we're done. I can't, <laughs> I can't go back. Sorry, okay, honestly, I think the whole the whole brother sister thing is a big deal, also because not only y'all have the same genes, but y'all like typically like would grow up in the same home, and y'all have the brother sister relationship. If y'all never knew y'all were related, I'm not mad because we didn't know. But I can't. What if your I can't wants to carry with on. You? I can't carry on. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't. We have a comment. Geometry of thought says, you don't, you don't know, do you leave it alone? You didn't know, do you leave it alone? I'm seeking therapy. Yeah, that too, after we're divorced. I cannot romantically be involved with you knowing that you're my blood brother. I can't. I'm a little shocked that y'all can do that. I never said I could. I didn't say I could. Y'all, like you go a very. It's not hard. like I walked. Yeah, she is, and it's right. not like I walked into the situation knowing that that was my brother that I was marrying. Correct. So you're not mad at yourself. I, I'm what not. Is, yeah. I'm not saying like I'm not mad at myself. I mean, I'm I'm disgusted because it's happened, <laughs> but I'm not beating myself up. I'm not beating him up. I'm not, you know, just genuinely pissed off. But I can't move forward. If your parents were alive and it's your brother, are you putting hands on your father? Oh, I'm going off. Maybe oh, he, did, maybe he didn't, didn't know. Smooth uh, perhaps he didn't know, though. I mean, there's different Look, variables yeah. to this story. Oh, you're right, and I'm going to still cuss him out because I'm saying somewhere you dropped the ball. And now, <laughs> I have to, now I have to take care of this situation. <laughs> oh, God. And me and my dad, I'd, I'd go off. Yeah. <laughs> what were you doing? Hey, how do y'all pin? Somebody tell me how I pin like a message for it. Stay. Anybody know that? I have no idea. I'm old. Uh, uh, but six <laughs> degrees of separation. I truly believe in that. Yeah. I truly believe in that. But as far as being related, yeah, uh, not not siblings, distant cousins, 
All right, I just have to erase that from my memory. What would you do? I don't. You I don't drop know. this bomb and not say yeah, that. I, no, I, I was waiting for you to talk. Like Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Like it's. It's. I. I don't know. I. I can't. I, I, I don't know. Like it's. Especially when we have children. It, if the children are okay, everything is. I. I don't know. Why can't you just like I don't live? Know. Do you understand? What, you understand? What I, I'm get, saying? I get what you're saying. It's I like, get if it was like very new and y'all found this out and then y'all were thinking about having children. You like. We can't now. But if your kids came out perfectly would you, fine, would you know like, what, what if you want more? You, you but, probably dodged I mean, the bullet. But that's a, a, <laughs> a L I have to take. But here's the thing, though. Like, now that we know, do we tell anyone? Mm. Mm. Oh, Hell oh, no. no. <laughs> because hey, Not no. if you stay together, you definitely right, yeah, don't. You, like, if you stay together, <laughs> yeah, you can't yeah, say anything. Yeah, absolutely not. But, you know what I'm saying? We get divorced, people are going to be like, what are y'all breaking Cause, up? Because here, here's the thing. <laughs> what? Like, what do you tell us about the differences? What do you tell like, So is it just a lie at this point? Do you tell your, your, your kids, like, yesterday, mommy and daddy was well, daddy head over heels. You and mommy and daddy were head over heels in love yesterday. Now today, after they went out and had a date night, they, we breaking up. Right? I'm sorry. If you marry somebody, that love is not just going to disappear just because of that. It's going to be very hard to, to divorce But I can still love you, you find that thing, as, that a, out. as a mate or as a brother, but I cannot be sexually involved. Okay, so are y'all going to be roommates? Maybe. If so, find somebody else or you find somebody Damn. else. Damn. That's... I'm being real. Like, so, I cannot be sexually involved with my brother. So, well, well <laughs> so, that, that's... Okay, so... Man, you keep saying it like... Yeah, because yeah, when, you, when you make it brother, that's... Well, yeah. Yeah, but, here, but here's the thing. <laughs> is that though, not... <laughs> but, but here, no, we just said that okay. you're related. But here's the thing. So say if it is brother or your sister. Um, is it just a mental thing that you can't overcome now? Because yeah, it has to all, be just a mental thing. That's all it is. That's all, that's all it is. That's You're not even gonna try. Like, what if your husband wants to go to therapy so you can like what? get past what the therapy is going to this husband and or brother, whatever. The <laughs> issue is not going to be solved because it can't change. You can only you can change your mindset about it. No, no, no you can change your mindset, you change but you can't action. change the circumstance. No, but that's what so, therapy is for, right? I can't get past that. So you tell me you can have sex with your brother. Come on, stop I'm asking saying that. that y'all said a sibling. I I said cousin. I could probably try to make it work. Sibling. The choir reminds. <laughs> Want to know? Okay. It would be very. It would be hard for, if I'm in a loving marriage and nothing was like if we weren't on the rocks all like already. That's gonna be hard for me to drop. All right, let, let's, let's, let's let switch a marriage go, especially if it's kids involved. You've been dating someone mm -hmm. for however <clears throat> long, right? Y'all, you know, of course, you've been sexually active. You looking at marriage. And then something happened when your parents get married. <laughs> oh, that ain't that ain't y'all ain't, but y'all no, ain't. I know, but would you still interview? Yes, still yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. now it's your stepbrother and your husband. Stepbrother and actual blood brother. Yeah, we not. No, we I'm, not. I'm asking. I'm changing the narrative. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Everybody is yeah. like, no, mm -hmm. maybe, whatever. So I'm changing. Yeah, no, the stepbrother. I. So you were married. You were regular dating. Okay, in these streets. Now, <laughs> yeah. Now I really know we're not related if them two got married. <laughs> oh, we good. I mean, it's, I imagine you have a child. Now that's weird. But <laughs> that would, now, now, I mean, that would be weird if that, they got. Okay, because at the end of the day, it's about titles. Because now right. this is your. You're right, but I'm going to give you this example. Um, now, if our parents got married when we were young, and we yeah. ended up living in the same household for several years, that's weird. you should not have a thing for me, and I should not have a thing for you, right? But if our parents found each other at the age of like sixty, or and, even if we're, you know we're adults, if we're adults. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you know, for me being around you a little bit, like you know, we start like hit oh. it off. Yeah, that's fine. I agree. It's, it's just weird. It's, it's all weird. Yeah, like, that's hell. I, it's all weird. Like my fa my father and her mother can't get married. Like I we we was here first. Like. Fuck what y'all got going on? Like I'm, oh, I'm sabotaging. Oh, you after the fact. Yeah, after the fact. Yeah, like <laughs> we already together. Then oh. they they meet or whatever, and then they try to hook up or whatever the case may be. I knew you, boo. That's uh, your business, but <laughs> yeah, no, I'm shutting that down. Why? Right. Okay. You grown, they grown. Right. Because it's still weird. Because what if they do it ain't have like a child? Live in the house together. So, so they have a child now. How, what do you explain to this child or your children? 
How do you, what, how you what is their relationship? How do you, I'm trying to figure how do you, this out. How do you introduce me? I these am people? your Uncle. sister and your <laughs> and your sister and No, that, that child is gonna be your brother and something else. Right? Well, no, it's just the uncle then to the child. Because it's both our oh, brothers. And my half and both our brothers. Yeah, so my half, it's, my, it's my it's <laughs> my <laughs> So this your uncle and your your. Uh, Damn what I'm no, confused. It's a great uncle and an uncle, cause it's my brother and they son. Uh, we sound real stupid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At any rate, though, I don't. I mean, that is a little bit different. And even though this is kind of different, but I always tell the story that my um my grandmother and her sister married two brothers. So I mean that might be weird to some people. That was. But we are all Actually, so related. This is something I thought might happen to me and you. No. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but yeah, so that that's different, and that that would be fine. I wouldn't have no problem with that. Mm-hmm. Got no problem with everybody getting along. We all want to get along. Huh? Mm-hmm. All right, so um, we're running along here. Mm-hmm. Did you all mm-hmm. see what Popeyes? Um, we cap- still cap- on this? No, they they came out with like a a, a, a pacifier. Into the chicken sandwich. Oh, jeez. A pacifier, though. What is it? I totally am. So, they have this new campaign called BYOB. What do you think it stands for? It better not be bring your own bread. Bring your own bun. (laughs) To Popeyes. And then you can get. The actual corporation did not. Yes, it's, it's, yes. It is, it's a, it's a, Show me the it's way a marketing it. campaign. Guess what? It better be half off. <laughs> like As he said, you order some chicken strips. You order some chicken make strips, and then like you can make the sandwich there. But that, with my own bun. Yeah. It better be half <laughs> off. That's disgusting. You got to be a desperate anywhere <laughs> to really do this. Like, all right, I'm about to take some bread. I'm take this, two white bread slices of the Popeyes real quick. It ain't even worth it at that That's point. Gross. <laughs> Geometry is all said, fuck Popeyes. Popeyes is good, it but is. I, don't, I don't eat it often. I don't. I guess because they want you to download the app to find out when the sandwich is coming. I ain't doing all that. You, but they're few and far between. They're not very. They're have not you all heard that they like their the location still selling the sandwich? Uh-huh. I know some yeah. a couple people have gotten it recently. I want. I wonder who's been holding on to them in the back. <laughs> and that's probably, what it is. And they, went, they yeah. doubled up. Come on now. I sell them for a premium right now. Two more stops. That's honest. How you gonna ring this up? You just uh, ring it up. It's my right. Take your breasts on two sides. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, how you ring it up. Uh, two breasts. <laughs> that's how that's gonna come up. Oh, that's ridiculous. Or, or, so, or they keeping the other money. Mm. So you wouldn't you wouldn't go and I'm not bringing no damn bread to no restaurant. That's too much. I'm not going. If I gotta bring my own bread, that's just that's. First of all, now it's making me think the chicken sandwich is not that good. Then if I have to do all that, what you mean? It, I uh, thought the bread was a part uh, of the actual sandwich. Yeah, everyone like, said that like that's what made it good. It was one thing that was so great about it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, yeah, yeah. No, I'm good on that. Bye. Um, I did have a question for y'all, and I, I think I sent it to you earlier. Just changing topics, but. <laughs> we didn't even say that. I was going to say, it seemed like we were finishing up there. <laughs> so, I'm going to read this to you. I want your response. <laughs> You've been kidnapped. Your kidnappers allow you to keep posting on social media to pretend everything is all right. What would you post <laughs> that would alarm your followers without the kidnappers knowing you're asking for help? Please, one second. <laughs> what? G. Joe's. Said anybody that brings their own bread to Popeyes. Oh God! The food <laughs> what? That's you can't trust them. I'm sorry. You think we coming up with this? I'm sorry. You have a drink your pasta. No, I, think, I. I mean, some some ain't right. If you that's too much. If you take bread out of your own home, that's too much. <laughs> And take it to a restaurant so they can make you a sandwich. That's what I said. What type of? No. Oh, right. Okay, I'm sorry. Read that. Again. Are, are you ready? Yeah, I'm Born. Fine. That caught me off guard. Mm. <laughs> Anything else on this damn chicken sandwich? Put my phone down. I'm sorry. Chicken sandwich. <laughs> All right. Fuck Popeyes. Read the suggestion. Yeah. <laughs> that they gonna make one for me with exactly. my own bread. 
Ugh. <laughs> okay. You got the floor. Again, you've been kidnapped. Your kidnappers allow you to keep posting on social media to pretend everything is all right. What would you post that would alarm your followers without the kidnappers knowing you're asking for help? Too easy. What would you know? I don't know. I don't post often, so I don't even know what I would post. I, I honestly don't. The only thing I really post most of the time is for the show. Right. So what would you post that would be so out of the norm that someone would think something's wrong? Like, or you would have learned getting them. married. Hey, <laughs> I was like, I'm so in love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so real. Uh, I'm real. I can't wait to have I'm, I'm, five or six <laughs> children. I can see the red flags going uh, off now. These niggas are shit. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, that's not so right. No, no. <laughs> if I, I, I mean, you think that I that think would be so bizarre? Ago, I think. What me? You say that. that you, you know you know me. I are you know you? That you can't be in love? I didn't say that. For me to actually put all of that on oh, social yeah. media. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I just come out say that I'm like so yeah, or like me talking about like <laughs> Oh, you guys, I can't wait to get married and have children no. and all this other stuff. Like y'all would be like what is wrong with yeah, yeah, something? Yeah, I guess me, <laughs> yeah. me starting to air out personal and the business would would probably be so what would what would be a red flag? Anything personal, like um, I just lost my job today. Yeah, yeah, yeah like you know, <laughs> I'm over here going through some things. God ain't done with me yet. Jeff got snatched. Like what's going on? <laughs> Let me call him. Gary said papaya. Inside Papaya. No, I, I yeah I, I would. It would have to be first of all. I, I don't know. I actually did that uh, like a while back. I think I, this was years and years ago. I like posted something, it might have been on Twitter, about how much I like love someone. Oh, yeah. And I literally got text messages from like two or three people, and they were like, You good, my nigga? What? <laughs> when did you post this? Because this was. You gonna be a shot? I am. Oh, like what? Oh, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about like 2000. Shot <laughs> What? I'm not like a like, lovey-dovey yeah. type um, person. I never even really saw you be nice to them. <laughs> what? Wow. Wow. She's lying. Wow. She's, she's a liar. Wow. You just called her a liar like 10 minutes ago. Still wow. She's a liar. She's I mean, lying. That may be a fact. It's a joke. What would you do? Yeah, what would I, you do? I don't know because... My my posts are, they vary, so I'm just trying to think like, what's something that would be so abnormal for me? I I really maybe if you were ranting about something, right? Like if you said like like really like shit, bitches got me fucked up. Oh, oh like, like just started cur- cursing and being, being violent yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I guess so. Cause I'm pretty calm online. Yeah. <laughs> Thank online. You for the oh. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that probably would be like if I just started posting a bunch of vulgar stuff. Like what? Excuse me. (laughs) You see see how you went calm? calm (laughs) That was very calm and polite. Thank you very much. Uh, Yeah. Anybody respond? Anybody on on social media say what they would do? Just papaya. Aaron, did you have something? Because I I have plenty to talk about, but I don't want to just keep rattling off and give y'all the floor. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. I did want to bring up this ban on vapes. I don't know if you all have heard about that, but well, it's just the it's just the flavor, so it's not all vapes. Seriously? It's just the flavor. Yeah, the idea is that um, this shit is they're blowing trying to, up in people's faces for God's sake. That's not even why. I know, but <laughs> that too, like they're basically to stop kids. Yeah. You know, to because they're if it tastes good, they're, they're gonna drawn to the to the flavor. So you know, they're trying to come. Of course, they're saying that the vape is way worse than people smoking. Oh, now it is, because years ago they didn't say that. They've been saying it for the last said, couple of Yeah, though, but sure. been, initially, like you said, when it came out, it was an yeah. alternative right. you know, to smoke a cigarette. Right. But I'm, I'm sure, like anything, they've upped the ante. So now it's not, because at first mm-hmm. it was like, oh, do this instead, because it was like a nicotine thing, like to yeah. kind of um, 
taper you taper off. Taper your of cravings off or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. But now, like, if you see these vapes, they be like this big. People walk around like, <laughs> and, and it be like a chimney coming out their mouth. Like, yeah, my man, like first all of all, that smoke. a cigarette, don't, <laughs> don't do that. Don't like, produce that much smoke. You just, you look yeah. like you got a, a wall cabin coming out your no, face. That's, that's so, I looked up um, just for the sake of having the background stuff. Mm-hmm. If you look up how they describe what a vape is, they call it a mixture of nicotine and oil heated by a battery powered <laughs> atomizer in an e-cigarette or larger vaporizer. Like that doesn't an sound safe at all. They explode sorry, sorry, and like like, yeah, like it does. I'm like that's absolutely ridiculous. like literally take off like people's mouths and I mean, the sides something. of their faces. I mean, something explodes, yeah, that close to your face. I mean, it's. The person is, no, I'm saying this happened like quite a few times actually. Mm. Well, they like, said after that, I would. Uh, I, that been it for you. What triggered this is I don't know. I don't I like think six anyway. people died for lung disease that they were able to trace back to um, to vaping. But a compa- I thought it was more than that. I have a question about that. Like how? I, I how know you have, things? Yeah, I, I, like forensic science, I get all that, but I'm dead. My body's here. All you have is the remains. Oh. I just what's just what's happening? Hello? Oh, no, that's just, I think, phone. Yeah, oh, okay. connected. <laughs> um, I don't, like, how do you now trace, it, it's not like a tree. You can't cut it down and then count the rings and the inside. Like, <laughs> how do you trace something back to vape? Like, what if you never knew I vape? Oh. And I'm dead now. And it's like, oh, God. I vape good. <laughs> um, so it's, it's not like you never knew that I vape and all of a sudden, Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, that's what killed you. Like, how, how was that? I'm assuming these six people that died, I'm just like, most likely, like, their family and friends probably let them know what kind what, of lifestyle they live, yeah. what kind of habits they have. Mm-hmm. And then they can go ahead and confirm after you do, like, an autopsy if somebody's lungs are shit, right? Like, that may be the you amount connect, of smoke. You connect the dots. Because, oh. like, we talked about it, it does. Very much, it's a large amount. amount. So maybe it's maybe the amount, and if I don't know the ages of them, but if they were young and it's damn near impossible to have this much damage, oh that quickly, you know, was that quickly, yeah. then maybe that's how I don't know um, the science behind it. But however, I thought it was interesting because I then saw um, were they young? Sorry, I, I don't. I have to probably pull it up. But for, like, I guess what I'm saying is cigarettes, right? Like usually that would take like years yeah. to kill you. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah. if they were young people, like... Then you can definitely... <laughs> yeah, like, damn. Have research and evidence points to yeah. this is what it is. Right. But um, someone made the comparison that it only took a short amount of time for them to start working on this, but we've had hundreds and hundreds of people die from gun violence, and they still haven't Damn guns. banned guns or come up with anything well, for that. Well, it's a little different with that, because the right to bear arms is an amendment into the constitutional right. So I don't think they're ever going to ban guns. Now, do we need more rest- more restricted gun laws? Yes, but I don't think as long as there are people that Who do bad... that in the... I get it. No, wait, wait, wait. As long as there are people that do bad things and have the ability to acquire guns, I should have the right to have one as well. Mm. Period. Like, as long as... I can't... Yeah. Yeah. So, I need to be able to defend myself. Right. So I don't agree with banning, you know, the right to bear arms, but there should be much stricter gun laws. Like, I mean, that's a very good reason, but I also think money has a lot to do with it as well. Of course. You know what I mean? Of like, to be honest, the NRA probably have more control over oh, yeah, the more pockets control are over pockets stuff deep. way more than just guns. Yeah. yeah. Pockets deep. So, and they're funding a lot they of They funded by uh, stupid. Uh, <laughs> Can't even think of his name, or you just don't want to say it? Yeah, I don't, <laughs> feel, I don't feel like speaking his name. But, um, on top of that, for anyone who's listening or <clears throat> catches at a later <throat> date, um, it's a website called, um, I think it's grabyourwallet.org. Uh, yeah. Right? So that. it's this um, website that's pretty cool. It will literally give you a list of all the corporations that um, support Trump. And they'll, they actually let you know like how much was given, 
Um, yeah, I mean, some of these you can't. And this is really sad too. Like some of these you can't get away from. Yeah, yeah, AT&T's it's the like Bank of America. Bank of America, Boeing. I mean, how the hell is like Boeing makes the planes? Yeah, so, yeah. That's, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just not, not like going me, like, like booking a flight on Southwest, and then I'm like, oh, what's like what flight am I on? I'm on a Boeing. Oh no, I gotta change my. No. Yeah, right. That's not gonna <laughs> no, happen. I'm not. Um, Estee Lauder, uh, Hobby Lobby, tell your week is. <laughs> Las Vegas the Sands, the Venetian, mm. uh, LL Bean, NASCAR, Nathan's Famous, some hot, hot dogs, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Shell Gas Station. Oh, goodness. Right, that makes sense. Because these are, you, I think you have a lot of money invested in the oil. Um, WWE, which. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That makes sense too. Mm. CBS, they did something. Whoa. I know. Wow. It's too much to read. What that? Oh, CBS. Somebody made a claim that CBS is a major Trump donor. Wow. But Whatever. Not Speaking of stupid, Home Depot, you, you know, Marvel. Um, as of right now, in, in August, um, we we reached a, the budget deficit of one over one trillion dollars. It's the highest it's been in, in seven years. Seven. In seven years. And they talk one about all trillion. that trash. I know, right? All that trash. Yeah. One tree, no, says, about our beloved uh, President Obama. <laughs> yeah, it says the U.S. government uh, red ink for fiscal 2000, not, 2019 swelled past one trillion mark in August, the first time the level had been eclipsed in seven years. The Treasury Department reported on Thursday the total shortfall rose to nearly $1.7 trillion thanks to a difference between the revenue and expenses of more than $214.1 billion in August. The government last saw that large of a fiscal deficit in 2012 uh, when the gap was <clears throat> nearly $1.1 $1. $1 trillion. And that was coming off of uh, Bush, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. basically, yep. when we went through a recession. Yep. It <coughs> says, Sorry. do one more thing. Revenue has accelerated slightly in 2019 to about $280 billion a month to have expenditures which are averaging <laughs> 360 Three hundred seventy-seven billion a month, or about twenty-five billion a month or more in two thousand eighteen. This man knows no like. This is piggy bank. No, the world no is no restrictions at all. Yeah. Like something that kind of pissed me off when he first like ran for president. Uh, all these people were saying he's a good businessman. He's a good businessman. Do you know how many times he filed for bankruptcy? Yeah, uh, exactly. Before he finally ended up with a successful company? Well, let's be honest. Like, he started off <laughs> successful. Like, he started off yeah. with a million dollars. Yeah, yeah, from his dad. Yeah. yeah. Like, and even when they were given that information about his bankruptcies and his failed businesses, it meant nothing to them. They did a documentary on him, like, about yet getting into detail about how his casinos or whatever didn't do well and... Mm. I think the only thing that really does well is his real estate in this hotel. Oh, yeah. I think that's the only thing that does well. But, so back to what you said about uh, <clears throat> grab your wallet. How easy is it to then just say, I'm you know, I'm not messing with this because I don't support that? Oh, as easy as it was for me to drop Kanye. So you can go down that list. Which uh, that's a lie. But so you can go down that list. No, I can't. No, and and I can't, knock off. I can't not fly Boeing. Mm -hmm. um, but would you change your bank? Your phone service? Well, I don't bank with Bank of America. I'm anymore. just saying. Yeah. If you did. And phone service. I don't have phone. I got internet with AT and T. Um, you like to cut them off? <laughs> <laughs> Deep side. All of the internet is trash. That's true. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, Nothing I, I think satisfactory. they're right. I just think that they're a little bit better than like, Everyone some of the other so ones. Wait, hold on one second. Xfinity is AT and no, they're not. They're oh, I don't have AT and T. Xfinity is Comcast. That's right. I don't have AT and T. TBS. I mean, I barely go to anyway. I mean, you just cut. <laughs> I frequent it was, CBS. It was CBS. Like that. I can just switch to Walgreens. It's not you the same. I don't have any prescriptions, but if I did, I could just. 
Once I racked it up, right, you can go on and shoot me an email, let me know. The next time I come in, apply it. They are capable. They just want people to, they they want it to be like, oh, well, you know, we give all of these savings and blah, 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 but the people have to actually act on it. Yeah, you have to make an effort. Look at it. They're not going to get, they're not giving away money. They, Mm -hmm. you know, saying like, oh, you can get this off, but you got to bring this coupon in the next time you come to CVS. I go to CVS like once a month. Like, where do you I'm stop to like on, grab small I'm things? I'm not holding on to no damn coupon. I go to Walmart. Uh, that line too long. That uh, store too big. For what? Uh, I only go to the liquor store for liquor. It's too big. I'm not going in that store. <coughs> All right, so <laughs> to also big. change pace a little bit, <laughs> a French worker died after sex on a business trip. His company is being held liable. Why? The law is something else. The fact that that's even like a a case. Why would you think they're being held liable? Because he he or she was having sex with someone in the company. Nope. Because he lied about, (laughs) I don't know, well, I guess it's out what he was doing. I don't know. Was he having sex for a bit? Was it a man or a woman? It's no scandal. So it says the man who was identified in court documents on the ex Xavier traveled to travel in 2017 to Lorette region to the Lorette region in central Fr- central France as a security technician for the rail engineering company CSO. After work one night, he had sex with a woman at her house before returning to his hotel. He later died from a heart attack said to have been linked to that encounter. The health insurance fund the health insurance fund decided that the death resulted from a work work related incident. <laughs> was so because the insurance company says that the, I'm confused. The, the the company appealed saying that the employee had interrupted his work trip for adulterous mm. relationship. Mm. <laughs> and and they had to throw that in. Right. <laughs> Uh, about to make you look real bad. Yeah. <laughs> therefore, acted outside the company's uh, scope. The court of appeal in Paris held up to the insurance company's decisions, ruling that ruling that released in May says that because it was on company time, and, oh. was, and he was there for company reasons. That's company's wild. Company. That's wild. How? I guess if you salary, I mean it is technically so company time. That. Okay, I'm salary. I'm on company time now. No, no, but if they, they send, send you, you away somewhere and something happens, that's in the same token like when I was working. Oh, for and we're about to act a fool. Well, <laughs> well, this, was in, well, this was in Paris. So, I don't know so if I if I trip and fall in the mall and I'm in another state or something like that and I'm on a a business trip, I you, you may be able to claim it. That's why. Well, that's, when you're hourly, they or even if you're not. That's no, why. They like send you away when it's trip, when you know, it's punch it. clocks, they make you punch out. Because you don't, yeah, they don't if know something you happens, know. yeah, so that's why, like, because I remember asking that, like, this is ridiculous. They're like, we need to know, like, if you leave the building or you're not on the clock. Okay, so let me ask you a question. If I'm leaving the bi- building on, on business purposes and something happened, then they're liable. I mean, I guess you got a case at that point. Like, no, <laughs> like why is everything so, like, black and white with a law? You, that's just outrageous. It's outrageous. <laughs> that, that is crazy. Dang. It's, it's actually a part of me that actually feels a little bit bad for the company. company. Yeah. No, that is because ridiculous. people get over. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why insurance, <clears throat> insurance is so high. And that's why we pay what we pay. Because, you know, it, it's really no gray area. It is what it is. Like, it's this or that. So. Yeah, and it took a couple of years for them to meet that ruling. Yeah, it, it did take a while. 
What did the wife say? <laughs> That's what I want to know. I guess she probably guess like, I better get that money, money right? So. Yeah. yeah. He was out gallivanting. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that free hair. Ugh. <laughs> Had the nerve to die later. Like, yeah. <laughs> died in the hat, bitch. Went back to the yeah. hotel and croaked. Yeah, he enjoyed himself from beginning so, to end. So, vacation Thank you. They, they um, had a, they did like a, I guess, a survey or whatever case or a study. And they're saying that um, being on social media can have an effect. Well, it is having an effect, especially on adolescents. So, and <clears throat> I guess anyone, but especially on adolescents, like when you're scrolling through Instagram and they say when you see someone else's picture and they're having fun, like mm -hmm. it, you become envious, or like it, it can alter your mood. Mm -hmm. Or when you, or if you see someone doing something that FOMO. you you also can do or also have, you become joyous because it's like, oh, I'm doing, it's like a, a, a what is it? You identify with it, it's a word for it, but yeah. Um, uh, validation. Validation. Validating that I'm doing the right thing. So it's like, and it's very split second as you're, you know, and they're saying like, with all of this, we have to reduce how much we interact with social media because subconsciously, subconsciously these things are happening and you don't even know it. Like, so does that lead to like, can that lead to like a chemical imbalance, imbalance in your mind if you get too much of the negative feeling? Emotionally, uh -huh. I don't know that it would be. Well, I guess the reaction when we react or when we have these thoughts, emotions, or feelings, something is happening right. in our brain. But yeah, so I guess you get that could be you chemical. Get, you get too much. You related. get too much of the bad feeling. Yeah, right. Can't that like turn into depression? Oh yeah. Some, you know what I mean? Like yeah, they've done a lot of studies to point to that that it's causing depression. Um, a lot and not just kids but mostly because mm -hmm. they're impressionable and they, this has been around all their lives but there have been studies to that that it, it leads to depression that's why they talked about getting rid of likes and the instant gratification yeah. um so were y'all for that or not i remember i was talking about that but did y'all eh, it makes me know never mind i guess it, it makes me it, i really don't i guess care Does it about make it you're the only wait you're, you can see them. I can see people. Other people can okay. see them. Oh. So yeah. I guess it depends on the market, I guess. Like for us, you know, if I'm using it for the show, mm -hmm. then for me to market to sponsors, they need to see how many people are following me, how many mm -hmm. people are looking at what we're putting up. Mm -hmm. So the only yeah. way for me to show that is through likes, follows, comments, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's kind of, it depends on what realm you're looking at it, where it will matter or not. I think it should still be, or you just separate the two, right? You get to have the same thing as a business would be, right? Yeah. You get stars, you get likes, you get like your comments. Mm -hmm. um, for a business, if you have a business page, if it's personal, then it's just not protected. But oh, so you're saying like it should be strictly there for a business personal, page? Yeah. You, okay. you have to actually like say Then would everybody make that. theirs a <laughs> business page? Right, yeah. Like, I, mean, I thought about that. Booking that, info in the bio. At that point, you have to, you know, put some parameters around it. If you want to have a DIN or, you know, a you know, yeah. you're not a business. Huh. Yeah. Because everybody, be mm -hmm. everybody braids in the house and you got booking information on there. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I just realized what you're talking about. Everybody got to. Um, just because you get on what's that, them scheduler uh, apps. Oh, yeah. Oh, just because yeah, you got yeah. to schedule it. Don't mean, <laughs> don't mean you got to. I mean, you got to. I mean, people, people sign it up. up. <laughs> Okay, keep, yeah. keep put, and that's the thing. Keep putting all this stuff out there, and then when you get that letter from IRS, like, oh, yeah, um, you know, it's taxes. Yeah. What's up? What's your business having at? Because it'll be what's coming. Up? What's up, Ponytail and Bob? <laughs> Ponytail and Bob's my bae. I'm going to need uh, my bae. My bae. I'm going to need uh, uh, my cut. Because you are here uh, you, breaking it in. Now, to that point, um, we have some friends who uh, they were talking today about taking breaks from social media and you know how refreshing it was and everything like that and i thought i it took i took a minute to think about like me and my interaction with social media and how i may not post a lot um particularly like I don't think I post enough. Yeah, yeah if something is going on or what have you i just i don't post a lot or as much as probably 
most people do who are really active on social media. But I do look at it a lot every day, you mm -hmm. know, probably multiple times a day. So do you all think, like, how easy do you think it would be to take a break from even just looking at it? Because I don't think any of us post a lot, but even just looking at it, that moment when you're in the bathroom or you're bored at work or just sitting still for a second. I mean, honestly, um, here's a foreshadow. Since we're gonna take a break in a couple of months, um, that will give me an opportunity to not necessarily have to look at it all the time. You know, with the show and what we do, I try to keep up on what's going on around here in the city and around the country. And Pop I'm going to be honest, social media is the best place for that. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're, if we're just talking about social media, are we talking about things that stream along with the internet also? Because at this point in the yeah, game, like the internet works. is technically social media. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's still giving you the same information that social media is giving you. It's just a screenshot. Yeah, you know, yeah. so do you ever really get away from it? Because when I go to log in on my computer or whatever to do anything, if I go to Google's homepage, it's going to give me the action news that I let on right there. You know, but I guess the thing is I'm not making a conscious effort to open up my social media apps, Facebook, Twitter, whatever the case may be, to like sit there and get lost in a rabbit hole and two hours later, because I don't went from this person's page, this person's page, this person's page, yeah. this person's page. Mm -hmm. Have you ever hit back before? Like, just been like looking at stuff and just like off, like you go to somebody's page. And you were like, how did I get here? And you were like, dang. And then you start hitting back and you like 15 pages. Oh, oh, like, yeah. you, know, you can just fill it out a deep rabbit hole. Yes. This person posted this. Oh, oh this person. Oh, okay, I'm going to yeah. go to this page. Yeah. And then you yeah. see this and then you, you see something else. You can jump. 15 pages in it has turned me on to some cool stuff though it does now i actually agree I with what you said crazy um stuff. but when we get on social media are we mostly seeing pop culture stuff I guess or are all these people we follow in their personal lives like if there was a ratio i honestly think that it's probably like a 75 25 so let's take a break from social media Will probably more so be us taking a break from people's personal looking life. at other people's lives. I don't yeah. agree because I guess it depends I, on who you follow. Yeah, I don't care. It depends on who you follow, and I'm gonna be honest. I probably follow more celebrities and blog pages and other podcasts and all right from your personal page. Right, I'm that's not what, about the culture here. That's um, that's exactly what I'm talking about. My first way, I, I follow like a like 1,200 people. I have 1,200 people that I'm following. I don't know 1,200 people. Right. I, it's probably maybe 50 or 60 people that I actually know I that I'm following. You know what I'm That's saying? That's it? Wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to know what everybody's doing. See, I'm the opposite. I'm not, yeah. yeah. And that's and I was going to say that to your point about you saying you pull up Google and you get the same information. Like, my feed and me taking a break from social media would be me not looking at what other people I know or peers or, right. or that six degrees of separation, looking at what they're doing because that's who I mostly follow. Now, yes, I follow some celebrities or pop culture pages or, or news or what have you, but that's not the bulk of my So wait, page. how many people are you following? 600 something? And out of that 600? 600 something, I don't know. You said 80, 20, so out of that 600, 400 people you know? Uh, By some way, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's wild. And, and when I first opened my Instagram, no, I think I it was tied to my Facebook. So I, a lot look, of people carry over. I probably over. most likely met you at some point in time. Like some of the people we have on the show, I easily follow like yeah. what, 20 extra people at least since we've been well, doing the show. Well, I don't equate that. That right there, I don't equate that to necessarily, necessarily being somebody I know. Well, I'd say like a peer, you know. Okay, I mean somebody on my on my level. That's yeah. not either a celebrity or it's not a page dedicated to serving up millions of people, some type of story. Yeah, someone but, I've met or crossed paths with. But right? even still, though, it, it's not, you're not really just following your friends, per se, because, yeah, you're seeing with this person that you met in passing or somebody... You, you went on somebody else's page when you dropped down that rabbit hole. It's like, oh, that page is cool, and you follow, and it's someone that's you know equally yoked with you. You still don't really know this person, so if that still can be set aside in that that realm of just the social media. You know what I'm it saying? It ain't fifty people, and I'm also not no, going to pull up Google and get information about these people. So that's why you know, yeah. know that. I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> people know that. What? We not out here doing that. <laughs> in the world we living in, people getting on the internet. I mean, and, and at that point, if you do, then then that's 
you know, that's a milestone for you. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. But I just, <laughs> I, I thought about that. I'm like, you know, how, but how easy would that be? Oh, I don't even for something positive. Was <laughs> I was about to say what it was removed before you did. Oh, cool. And it showed up on your feed. Yeah, your that's what's up. Yeah, that's good. Okay, back to your question. Would it be easy for me to drop social media? Probably, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I can, if my day is like pretty busy, even like when I do take downtime from work, I'm probably listening to music. Mm-hmm. I can look at my email, maybe play a game, um, read CNN. I mean, I do other stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily be on like Instagram like all, all the, the time. time, but mm-hmm. I do, as you say, I like check it three, maybe four times a day, something mm-hmm. like that. Depending on how bored I am, I might be on there for an hour and don't even realize it. Yeah. But if I consciously like let it go, I don't think I'd be missing out on much and I don't think it will bother me. Would you need to delete it from your phone in order to successfully no. do that? Mm-mm. Would you? I might. Got to delete it? I might. It's not like, I mean, same thing. I do, sometimes I don't even look at it all day if I'm busy or if I'm into something else or if I'm, like I said, if I'm listening to a podcast or listening to a book or something like that, mm-hmm. then no, because I have to be paying attention and listening to what I'm listening to. Right. But um, in terms of, like I said, those moments that you're in the bathroom or I have a quick second in between patients or something like that where I know I don't have enough time to go read an article or get into this book or anything like that, let me just scroll through the gram for this two minutes and see what's, what's mm-hmm. going on. So yeah. I probably, to completely just cut it off, I probably would have to delete it. Do y'all use something other than Instagram? Not really. Yeah, I still uh, <clears throat> I'm still on Facebook. Um, so Brian was telling me to get back on Facebook. I'm I'm still on Facebook, but only for my family, like because they're on it and they're active on it. So to interact with them, I'll she do it. Like the niggas be on Facebook. You need to get back. On what do they? Wow. She got like messages. You hear me? Yeah, I can believe that. Like it always be a hey as sweetheart. If, as if it was a <laughs> so, dating site. Oh yeah. Like messages. Oh wow. And I'm like, this is where people hanging out. People don't like actually leave the house. To, like, I guess. Meet somebody. I guess so. Black people oh. meet them. And to that point too, um, yeah. when you mentioned like how we have so many people or peers. That was a thing for a while. Like, even if you meet somebody out, I'm not giving you my phone number, but you can have my social media name. You, you know, that's them kids. You actually did that. Back, no, I never did back that. then, no, I want you to have my phone number, and Why? I need to see. You're not gonna find me my phone number. In my early twenties. <laughs> what? Yes. So you stopped giving out your number and started giving out your social media to then go back and give out your number. First of all, I need to know what you look like. If I met you and you got a hat on. I need to see other pictures. What? I need follow-up information. That's how you do a background check. What? Yes. <laughs> you don't get my phone number. What is number. a phone number going to do, though? It's not like I'm giving my address. Again, I need to know more about you. Or maybe I just don't want to give you my phone number, but you might be all right. Let me talk to you through this for a second. I know them kids do it. I, I know that. <laughs> that's the reasoning. Them kids. I know them kids But that's the reasoning. You, no, them kids do it because that's all they, that's what they're all doing. They, uh, they don't know they own You have phone to be numbers. good enough to have the phone number. That's like. I promise you, these kids nowadays are giving social media. Well, whatever their reason they is, my reasoning is, I don't. I might not want you to have my phone number. And if I ask a girl for a phone number, <laughs> and she, she said, was like, no, but you can follow me media, and she probably don't really I, like you. <laughs> but that's not well, what you just said. You that said, is what you just said. No, she that said, is, that's the, you said, I don't, don't know, know you. Like, uh, you all right, but I don't, uh, so. You still, uh, but, but you're still going to give me You need a follow-up appointment. I don't know. But you're still, gonna, you you still, still going to give me your time. You like, won't get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you're still going to give me your time at this point, whether I'm typing you on social media. When I get to it? Dang, you're making me think about something. Okay, okay, okay. When I went out of town, right, I met a guy, and we uh, exchanged phone numbers, but we also, like, after texting, was like, oh, are you on social media? Then we gave each other our, our Instagram information. Mm-hmm. That wasn't, because it was just like, okay, here's my phone number. Do what you want with it. You could text, call, whatever the hell. I don't really care. No, I definitely still ask, you know, like, at this point. In, in, yeah, just in, to, I still ask, yeah. you know, if you are, are you on social media? And I'll right. go and check out your page. Right. But, that's not the, the default. It's like, no, nah, no, 
know I'm speaking. No, you can't. You can't be an act. You can't be an act. You know. You know what I'm like? You can. You know. guess, guess what's going to happen? If a man does that to me, first of all, I'm not asking. Yeah, I ain't asking. For so a man ain't going to do that to me. So that's not going to happen. <laughs> but if it did, I'm going to bid you adieu. <laughs> what? Not going to happen. Never. And it's not like... <laughs> You know, it kind of just come up now. Oh, live nigga. I know. I was trying to wait on it. What it do? It was. <laughs> I can't. The sprint won't let me be great right now. However, hey. hey. <laughs> Man. No. Hey, I'm just saying. And if I'm a guy, I would take that as in, like, she don't want me to call her. I'm not going to hit you up. Like. <laughs> Usually the follow or the exchange oh, happens right God. then, and you look at the page. You talk, what? but but at this at this point, and even then, especially okay, you're especially with club. like Twitter and Facebook, you have a messaging system on that, so it's really no different. It ain't, but it's it's, it's me letting now, you know. now, now, me letting you now know. I get I to look with you. now I get to really see you in different elements and do a background check. That's the only you can difference. Still do that after the phone number, after a few conversations, and I. Mm -hmm. After the first what one. background are you getting? But what I posted on Instagram. <laughs> that's honest. And you know that's what I'm living point. my best life that's on true. Instagram. Like, that's I true. Give you, I'm you, giving it you. It can be lies. You can have a whole wife. But just about he out here living his best life. <laughs> it can be lies, but that's. I mean, you run that risk when dating anyway. But just kind of yeah, like how true. we talked about before too. Um, people not disclosing that they have children or things like that. Like that's information that I may not ask you when we're interacting this first time. But if I go to your page, I can find that out immediately. Most likely. That's, that's, that is true. Most likely. Now, Who if you don't post it? your kids, fine. Who hiding it, though? <laughs> <laughs> the world coming to. What? what? <laughs> this is crazy, man. Like, this is, this I, is Look, I, I agree. It ain't. This is terrible. Like, it's terrible. <laughs> I agree with what you just said, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> you don't. No. Nah. No. I just not, fact, and I'm also not a phone person. You know what? So don't uh, no, I am a phone I'm person. I'm not. You are. You I will say uh, that you. I'm not. I okay. Matter of fact, I would rather you text me first, right? Text me or call me and then I could figure out if I want you to follow me on Instagram. Because then that means you literally know the stuff I'm getting into, people I hang out with, places I'm going. Right. Well, is your page private? No. Well, then he could do that on his own anyway. But he have to literally find me. Like your name is your name. I know, but <laughs> nobody know my middle name. If I just you say, oh, what's your name? Can I have yeah, your you, number? You and I say, hey, my name is Aaron. Like, if you don't put the underscore yeah. in the front, of yeah. Name. No, if you put the underscore and the other underscore, <laughs> another one after. No, you <laughs> yeah. put underscore Aaron. But I'm sure it's other Aaron's. And that probably come up for you because she's your. No, friend. I'm saying like, but it, it it'll be a list. And I'm, her face on her face, you know what I'm saying? That's, so, but what's the chances of? Because you know this stuff is, is like geographic. Okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? So I get it, but I know I got here, a pretty common name. Like I'm not the only. No, it's a list gonna come up. I, I know. Said. I'm and just saying. Just I don't think I, I might not be the first one. No, you might be fifth. Oh God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no. um, <laughs> Yeah, we can get back to that. that make it really no, nice. I'm just like I said too. Also, I'm not I'm not a phone person, and typically once we're talking on the phone, we're planning to meet up. So I'm trying That's to know as much as I too. can like, about you before that about happens. You. Like, that I'm not a phone person. Yeah, like I'd rather see you, you in person. You're an 80s baby. Like I, I'd rather no. It's not, I'd, I'd rather see you in person. Like, if I can, that's what I'd rather do. I'd rather a face-to-face -face interaction. Right, so what about the, when the date is over with type of deal? Y'all both go home, you don't want to talk on the phone? We don't have a 45-hour no. text conversation. I mean, I, good night. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll, good we'll night. circle back to that. Because I would love to see what she has to say. Um, <laughs> Just to uh, drop some things off before we get up out of here, I do want to um, yeah. say congratulations to Chelsea Woods. Um, she's a, a high school student, a ninth grader at Cash Tech. And she she learned to pay, play chess Jean jacket. at uh, seven years old, and she's going to uh, oh. she's going to India oh, to nice. compete for the World Youth Chess Competition. Oh, yes. I do want to give her a shout out. It's uh, there's a um, <laughs> forget you. <laughs> there's a UPS is hiring 850 people in Metro Detroit for the holidays. Oh, damn. We won on there. I think United might have been on there. Is that your safest? Um, safest. Oh, now I don't know what 
exactly that means. Right. My cousin actually made me feel really, really bad for flying Spirit. I already hate Spirit, but he <laughs> was like, you do know the reason why they're able to give flights to give me flights is because they do like the state minimum with their like airplane parts. Wait, what? <laughs> he was like, they like basically have like cheap parts. Like they don't have to get the best of the best to fly your ass somewhere. Like, mm-hmm. like basically like your your planes are cheap. Oh God! He was like, why would anybody even like give away a flight for a penny? Like, that's why. <laughs> Yeah, I got so, you. <laughs> hey, I've been said I wasn't messing with spirit no more, but that was that was it. Like I gotta be done. Right. Now watch, it's gonna be like a round trip. Yeah, I think I have a one way. I'm coming back on United, but I have yeah, a one way because it was forty dollars. Do it until your bucket list trip show that's, up on that's spirit. That's true, but you're gonna be like, I gotta have some standards where my money is going to. All right. I know so, for a fact my one way is spirit going to DC. Else? It was forty dollars. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you mean seventy? Uh, no. Well, oh, what's my bag? I'm carrying a book bag. I'll be there for two days. She lying. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I ain't. I ain't getting no more of my money. You good? You got about your little something? You good? Uh, no. <laughs> just go pirates. Hampton versus Howard. And congratulations to Alkita on her upcoming marriage. How do you know she listens? That shit we lit. That's our hashtag. That shit we lit. Like that shit we lit. I didn't pick it. <laughs> First of all, it's not the wedding hashtag. That's the bachelorette. The bachelorette. I know, but. Oh. I didn't pick it, but it's really cute. Back. B-A-C-H. Could have been better. So, um. <laughs> the disrespect. Thank God she ain't listening. <laughs> I don't care. We, we know. <laughs> However, um, we appreciate everybody for tuning in every week as you all do. Um. We'll be back next week at the same time, same place. Same time. Uh, this has been the Kosher Cure. This is your Kosher Sophia Party Cure. Peace. Bye.